Hiya folks, it's Kikoski here and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 2 VGA and when last we left off we got on our Saurus and rode out into the desert. We found a brigand that we slew, got his money, that money will come in handy when we need to get more health potions and stamina bills, and then we found the dervish by the oasis. We spoke with the dervish, took some of his hair because Keep on Lavin wants some dervish hair, and then we began to improve our climbing by climbing this tree. The only tree here that we can climb, and the only way that I know that Derek is going to be able to improve his climbing skill. It is currently midday. We need to keep doing this until about sunset, because I think that will be when Shima dances. Failing that, we can, if we, if we somehow manage to miss Shima, there is another reason why we want to go to the Kata Inn at sunset. I think we can get a meal about that time as well. And so we climb! We definitely need this climbing skill. Climbing is incredibly important, as I said. And I'm sure it will have loads of uses in this game. Absolutely oodles of them. Bountiful opportunities to solve puzzles through the medium of climbing. We will climb our way to success. Climb the adventuring ladder. This tree is kind of like a ladder. We're certainly climbing it like it's a ladder. Look, our hands aren't even touching the tree. The right one certainly isn't. And yet, we are climbing. We are just that skilled. While the animation does take a lot longer than throwing rocks, it only involves me pressing the use command on the tree. We don't have to pick up rocks and then throw the rocks. We just need to climb the tree. Like this. And you can in fact click so fast that you barely see the use hand. We want to keep doing this. Over and over again. There is a griffin somewhere in the desert. And there is a rock slash wall by the griffin, that is where you would go to train if you have no climbing skill. But we have lots of climbing skill, and we're gaining more climbing skill by the minute. Someday we'll have so much climbing skill that we climb on the air. Suddenly climb up to the clouds. Get all that glorious cloud treasure. I mean, we know from King's Quest there are giants that live in clouds, so those giants clearly have giant treasure. We should not take anything that was in King's Quest as something that is uh, here in Quest for Glory, because completely different worlds. Same company that made them, but different worlds. That said, in Space Quest you can accidentally end up in Quest for the Lombo, but that is more of a whoops, you broke the space-time continuum and died in the process. Also. Agility went up to 197, so we might in fact raise agility to maximum during this process, and vitality went up to 161. These go up very slowly doing this. Climbing is at 143, though. Climbing is at 143. We are making fantastic progress. That investment in stamina pills at the beginning is paying off dividends. Me, using my consumables, spending my money? It's more likely than you think. Much more likely than you think. We'll just... Clan this again. It is my hope that we manage to max out agility. Maxing out agility will come in handy when it comes to dodging opponents in combat. And vitality, of course, means more health. And more health means we can last longer against more difficult opponents, or fight more lesser opponents. Brigands really aren't a huge problem, though brigands are good at dodging. And they're good at parrying. They're very much like us, except they have far lower skill in their combat stats. Jackals, as we've seen, like to gang up on you. Someone told me, by the way, that there is a command that you can do in combat that Uhura did not tell us about, and that is kicking. If we press 5 on the numpad, we will kick. And kicking is what we want to do... 145, by the way. Uh, kicking is what we want to do to get the jackals that are surrounding us on the uh, left and right, and possibly behind us if there's four of them, away. You just kick them away. And this has the added benefit of hurting them slightly. 
We've only fought two so far. I mean, you fought a lot. A lot of goblins. In Quest for Glory 1. And they all queued up one at a time, very patiently. I wish they queued up one at a time very patiently in this game. Except scorpions. I just want a scorpion to appear that has, like, no health, and then we instantly slay it. We need a lot more weapon skill before we can fight scorpions effectively. I also need to realize, apparently, that you can still use your shield while the scorpion is holding onto you. Or just mashing the dodge keys so that I can get out of the scorpion's grip. Things that I wouldn't have known, but I have been told about. We definitely have to fight at least one scorpion. Because we get points for finding a scorpion. Also 149 climbing. How's our, how's time? Still midday. Still midday. Still doing fantastic on that time. Still doing fantastically. I do like this music. Very soothing. Very relaxing. Just gets you into the mood to climb a tree constantly. Ah. Reminds me of playing uh, MMOs, just doing uh, like skill grinding. You get to a rhythm, and then it just becomes something that you're only half paying attention to. And you begin watching a video while you're doing that, talking to other people. Before you know it, it's dumb. Speaking of our stamina, is that dumb? No, oh, we're... We still have a little bit left. We're also nearly halfway towards maxing out our climbing. Also, when I saw that screen there, I thought something terrible had happened. Wouldn't be surprised if there was some kind of Easter egg for climbing up the tree. Like, you do climb too high up. And then an eagle just grabs you. That could happen. But that happened more in Space Quest than uh, here. Yep, still midday. And 151 climbing. You get a feel for the area. That we do. That we do. Also, what happens if I try and talk to the area? No, you'll chip your teeth. All right, fine. It doesn't say much. No, it doesn't. Fair enough. Tree doesn't say very much either. One more bit of climbing. And... And we're at four. We can climb once more before we have to use that pill. Look at me getting my maximum potential from each of these pills. Now we're back to maximum stamina. Back to maximum climbing. All the climbing, all the time. Just keep climbing that tree. You can do it, Derek. We believe in you, Derek. You are the hero the ship here needs. No, you're the hero the world needs. But you can't be that hero if you don't climb that tree. Now, I know all the people that were enthused about the rock, cli the rock throwing video and the other rock throwing video are probably sad that we have betrayed rock throwing in place of climbing. Rock throwing will always have a place in my heart, folks. It always will. But we have to do some climbing. We have to. I mean, what if in the third game, the place where you throw rocks, you have to climb to get there? We'll be doomed. We won't be able to throw rocks ever again. We don't want that, do we? I certainly don't want that. And so we climb. There are things in life sometimes that you do not want to do, but those are things that you often have to do, and so we do them. The necessary things to reach the goals we strive for. And in this instance, it's constantly looking at the desert dunes to gain more climbing skill. It would be nice if doing this once gave you, like, a piece of information, like, if you look over in this direction, you find something fascinating. But no, just dunes. I mean, it is a desert, that does make sense. I really want to get to 200 agility doing this. 
If we don't get to 200 agility doing this, you might have to throw some more rocks. The safest way, of course, to improve all of my weapon skills is to fight with Ahura. You train with Ahura and just keep going until your stamina runs out by dodging and blocking. That would be the fastest method. But I'll probably only focus on doing that once we have very little time left, if I need more weapon skill. My goal is whenever a really terrible threat comes to threaten Shapir, that I'll deal with it quickly and thus have more time to do all the other things that I want to do. This is my hope. I don't know if that'll actually be what happens, but I'll try my best. I will try my best. Is it still midday? It is still midday. We have 155 climbing and 198 agility. We just need two more points. What I am curious about is when you improve a stat to maximum, what happens to the experience points that would have gone to the stat that is now maxed? Do they get squandered or do they go to a different thing? Because it'd be nice if upon maxing out strength and agility, all that XP went straight into vitality. It's my hope that we can improve our vitality up to 200 by fighting. But who knows? I don't know how fast that goes up. We're certainly not getting any luck doing this. Luck is absolutely going to be the hardest thing for us to increase. That is why I put the 25 bonus points that I uh, got at the start of the game into luck. I wanted to make sure that I was as lucky as I could be. For I think only in combat do we get improvements to luck. Maybe it's the critical hits that do it. Or maybe luck improves the critical hits. Or maybe it's both. 157 climbing, everyone. Well over the halfway mark. Well over the halfway mark to climbing. Then it will just be swinging our sword, using our shield, and dodging. Want to get those to max as quickly as possible. Then it'll just be a question of getting as much money as we possibly can. Because there is that lovely bit of jewelry that we could spend 500 dinars on. 500! How am I ever going to be able to afford 500 dinars? I want that carpet, too. The, tar the carpet that's available in the uh, palace plaza. That's probably also going to be very expensive. For really, all we need are potions, bits of food, and maybe a couple of items required to complete the quests that pop up during the game. And they're not going to be that expensive. I wonder if I could persuade them to hand them over to me for free. Because, you know... Hero needs to save the world. Might work? Can't hurt to ask. We've been welcomed with open arms by the people of Shapir, so I'm sure if we inform them that the need is urgent, they'd be happy to help us. Alright, how is our skill now? 158? Our stamina is going down. It's still midday. Climbing really doesn't take a lot of time. It really doesn't take a lot of time. And this is when I find out that because we're in a friendly area, time moves by so much slower. I don't know if time and its flow and its passage alters depend upon where you are. I wouldn't think it does. I imagine every single action takes a certain amount of time and it's just slowly ticking by every time I climb the tree. If that's the case, it could just be that climbing the tree really doesn't take that much time. Probably because they don't expect you to do it over and over and over and over and over again. That being said, how else are you going to improve your climbing? Maybe they didn't anticipate that you'd improve your climbing like this. That is something that I wholly expect was the case. 
Like, oh, you've got a hundred climbing and you've got a hundred rock throwing. This should be enough to get you through Quest for Glory 2. You don't need to improve your climbing and throwing, most likely. Actually, I don't know that about climbing. I'll have to look up if that's the case for climbing. You definitely don't need to do it for rock throwing, but it's useful for the third game. That said, when you first bought the second game, you had no idea that there was going to be a third game. If you enjoyed the game, you'd hope that there was a third game, but there was no guarantee. Two could have been where the series ended, just like, well, y you win this game, and that's it, Vitality's improved. And then after the second game, they just ended the series. But no, Quest for Glory 2 was very successful. And originally, the plan was to go from Quest for Glory 2 to Quest for Glory 4. But apparently the, the tonal shift between 2 and 4 is such that they ultimately decided to make 3. And so you go from 2 to 3, then 3 to 4, and then from 4 to 5. And, but look at me rambling! We should be focusing on what's truly important here, the climbing! We are nearly two-thirds of the way to maxing out climbing. In fact, if I check... Yep, we're at 163. 163. The same amount of climbing as we have vitality. We are as skilled at climbing this tree as we are hardy. Pretty soon, however, we are going to get much better at climbing this tree compared to our hardiness. But that's okay. I just hope that we can max out our agility. We'll probably do so in combat, though. Probably don't need to do very much for that. So all we need to do is ride up that way. So we entered this way. We just need to go out this way, get to the northernmost point, and then head to the west, and we can get back to Shapir. And then we'll need to find the other places at some point in the desert, where the griffin is, and... There's one more place I think we might want to go to. I don't think there's anything else, though. Spielberg was just full of locations in the countryside, but the desert is kind of inhospitable to almost everything. The dervish is lucky that there is this oasis here. So are the trees. The trees really like the fact that this oasis is here. Now, what is the source of the oasis' water? Is it an underground river? Is it just that it's a very deep, rocky pit that fills up with rainwater? This water seems very fresh, so I doubt it's that. And it doesn't rain very often in the desert, but I'll tell you what, when it does rain in a desert, oh boy, life just springs up. 200 agility! Okay, we have maxed out agility, that is as high as it will ever go, and we are at 164 climbing. So we maxed out agility before we got to two-thirds of our climbing maximum. This is good, though. We are now as fast as we will ever be, as well as as strong as we'll ever be. Now I can test my theory about vitality. Let's see about climbing some more. Here we go! Climb that tree! So much climbing! All the climbing! But how much longer it'll take us to get to maximum? Climbing has been going up very quickly. As fast as we've been climbing up the tree! It's a shame it's not a really tall tree. That said, Oasis makes sense. Can't support trees that are too big. I do wonder where he sleeps. Does he sleep by that pile of rocks? Does that provide him with shade? I don't know. I don't know. This does not look like a comfortable place to rest. That said, considering what he's doing, I don't think uh, comfort and possessions are really his top priority. I think wrapping his beard around that tree is his top priority. Which, by the way, is something that can appear on the quit screen. A picture of Derek sat by a tree with a massive beard wrapped around... Wrapped around the tree. 167! We are now 
two-thirds of the way there. Two-thirds. Is it now past midday? Nope, it is in fact still midday. This is the worst time to be doing this. The sun is as high in the sky as it will be today. The sun is at its hottest, its most overbearing, its most scorching. And we're climbing this tree like we just don't care. Because we are Derek and we don't play by the rules. We absolutely do not play by the rules. We are a rebel. An absolute rebel. Who could stop Derek? No one could stop Derek. Derek does what he pleases. As long as it involves throwing rocks and climbing trees. I know that's oddly specific, but it is true. Can I click anywhere on the tree? Nope, I have to click the actual bark part. The ma I can't click the leaves. Makes sense. Can't climb the leaves of the tree. We may be good at climbing, but we're not light enough to balance on those leaves. I really wonder what the dervish is thinking about this. He knows we're a hero. He knows we're an adventurer. But now he knows we're a climbing fanatic. 170 climbing, folks. We are 30 points away from maximum. 30 points away. Let's keep going. Watch as soon as we leave this place after getting 200 climbing, we find a scorpion and we just die. Well, that was pointless. It was not pointless. We, we could have climbed our way out of that combat situation. No, you couldn't. He's right. We couldn't. I should try throwing a dagger at the scorpion if I see it. See how much damage that is. With 200 throwing, we might just one-shot the scorpion. Okay, that's wishful thinking right there. Absolutely wishful thinking. Maybe if we find a pterosaur, we might throw a dagger or two. We can't throw two. We only have one. How is our stamina doing? It is at one. Right. Might want to use one of these. But we are at 172. So we're nearly three quarters of the way there. We'll only have a scant few points left to gain. And our vitality is slowly going up. We're getting more experience. Every climbing action is experience. That Saurus has remained perfectly stationary, by the way. They haven't even blinked. So much skill. So much mastery. And yet we can gain more. Soon, we will be sat under the tree. No, we shall be sat on top of the tree. And people will come to us and go, Oh, Derek, how may I become a master of climbing? And then we will fling a rock at their feet and go, You must throw rocks. And they're like, what? Like, throw rocks. And then you will become a master of climbing trees. That doesn't make any sense. Who's the one that's the master of climbing? You are, Derek. Exactly. Climb trees by throwing rocks. Throw rocks by climbing trees. What about fighting? That's also improved by throwing rocks. Trust me, I am a hero after all. Not many people visit Derek. They don't tend to want to seek his advice. It might be because he also wrote a book about it. How to become a hero by throwing rocks and climbing trees. It's a very short book. It's actually more accurate to say it's a postcard, but he charges the same price as a book. And he's got to pay for all that food to be delivered to his tree. It's an expensive business. You'd think he put the tree somewhere where he could easily get uh, food, but no. There we go, by the way. Three quarters of the way there, 175. 175. Is it still midday? It is still midday. Oh my, it is still midday. I cannot believe it is, in fact, still midday. How is it still midday? 
I don't know. I don't know. But we're still climbing this tree. This is a bumper episode, folks. A climbing marathon. For all your climbing needs. Whatever you think, oh, I really want to watch a video where Kiko climbs up a tree. Wish granted. All of the tree climbing you could ever hope for. Just ignore the fact that it happened a lot in the first game as well. If you want one that's just climbing trees, it's right here for you. You never know, I might be able to cram all of... I really wonder how quickly I'm going to gain those final points. How quickly am I going to gain them? We're already at 176, but I think the final points are going to be the slowest. Because we'll need the most experience for them. Then again, I said before that it might not be that you need more to gain the final points. All I know is that throwing rocks and climbing trees is the best way to improve yourself. I also know that sneezing is awful. Yeah. Alright, what have we got? 176? Hmm. We'll do a little bit more. We'll do a little bit more. I really thought it would be sunset by now. It's not even mid-afternoon. It's still midday. This is the slowest two hours. It would have taken so long in real life to climb a tree this many times. Or oh, maybe we're just that fast at climbing trees. I don't know. What I do know is I'm fully taking advantage of this. Absolutely taking advantage of this. This is amazing. Definitely going to work to max my climbing today. Maxing rock throwing and climbing by day two? Day two of like 15 or 16 days? We could spend the rest of our time in Shapir focusing solely on mastering combat. That'd be fantastic. Hopefully I'll succeed at that. It is the harder thing to do. It is absolutely the harder thing to do. I really shouldn't be checking the stat screen every few minutes. I should just be climbing and climbing and climbing. And then when I see the massive amount of stat gain, I'll be even more pleasantly surprised. Just climb a bit more. And a bit more. And a bit more. So much climbing. There we go. And a little more. How are we doing now? 177, but we're almost out of stamina. So we can climb about six more times. Quite safely. That's two. Three. Four. Five. And six. There we go. Does that put us at one? Five! Oh, we could totally climb two more times. Totally climb two more times. Excellent. That puts us at one. Right? And 178 climbing. And it's still midday. And when we come back, folks, we will finish off our climbing. We'll finish it off. And then we'll go back to fighting things until the sun sets. Whereupon we will have days of combat training ahead of us in preparation for the first catastrophe that will inevitably hit Shapir. This place needs... We will be as ready as we could possibly be. And my, are we already really ready. But we can be even more ready. And look, it looks...
looks like little Derek is walking along the top of the rocks there. Look at Derek walking along, walking along the do <laughs> I didn't fall! And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not. And if you are subscribed, press that bell for those notifications for the climbing extravaganza that is Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.